Hello, this is David with Diva Dirt, and I'm here at the Cauliflower Alley Club 46th Annual Reunion, and joining me, one of the original Glow Girls, MTV. How are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous, thank you. Remind us again what MTV stands for. Melody Trouble Vixen. Actually, it's the queen of rock and roll, <laughs> Melody Trouble Vixen, MTV! <sighs> <laughs> well, it seems like all the Glow Girls are really enjoying being back here. What has this meant to you to see everybody again? Actually, it's meant everything. Um, wrestling was, in Glow, was the most fun I ever had in my life. And to be here with two or three hundred kindred spirits mm -hmm. is wonderful. And it's even more fabulous that this is the first time in 20 years the Glow Girls have made a, a personal appearance, a public appearance. Yeah, it's pretty special, and it really seems like everyone understands that and is really valuing the time together. Absolutely, and I, have, I had never met Palestina before, mm -hmm. so I, I met her last night at Susie Spirit's Barbecue. And I want you to know, I restrained myself. I did not beat up the cheerleaders, because, as everyone knows, <laughs> I hate cheerleaders. Right. Well, where's the guitar right now? <laughs> oh, Elvis is off signing autographs without me, you know. Tag team partner. <laughs> right. So, now that you've had some time to reflect on your time as a glow girl what did the experience mean to you when you were actually in the show did you understand kind of the importance of it and how it was going to hold up over time as a big part of women's professional wrestling well i did understand that we were the only women out there wrestling mm -hmm. and that it was a time when it was taboo for women to wrestle so and we were the first women's wrestling show on tv and it I, I knew at the time that it was important, but I mostly just had fun. I had a real good time. And I was also paying attention to the production value because I was a born a producer, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to um, get that experience, too, for later on in life, which would be now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I remember most about the Glow Girls was the production. It wasn't just the wrestling. It was the entertainment, the drama, and the character development which was a lot of fun for someone watching it at home. And you see it today on television all the time with the way wrestling is told on TV. Which I actually participated in the production. I wrote a lot of the girls' raps. Okay. I developed a lot of the girls' characters. I designed their costumes, went with them to um, SoBiz here mm -hmm. in Vegas, and Marianne made the, made the costumes. But, you know, we, I, I participated in a lot of that. So I really enjoyed that, too. And you, you taped here in Las Vegas. And then how often would you go on the road? Um, I went on three national and one international tour. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what was fun. Yeah. I, what I really loved was the energy of the people mm -hmm. and in the different parts of the world. And in Kansas City, it was a rough crowd, and I did get an entire 16-ounce beer thrown on me. <laughs> <laughs> They're great memories, though, aren't they? Beer fume, yes. <laughs> yeah, beer fume, right. <laughs> but when you look back at those stories, they really are a lot of fun, and, and, and again, the sense from talking to some of the other girls that they really treasure all that time that they had. Oh, yes. What I remember most was when we went up uh, through the Midwest, they had a snowstorm that was the first snowstorm in 50 years. Wow. They had no snow removal equipment, ice this thick on the road, and our bus, <laughs> tour bus crawling three miles an hour all night long to get us to our next mm -hmm. venue. I mean, we slept like this in the seat. <laughs> I had to unfold right, right. and then go slam each other around again. Maybe the less glamorous side of professional wrestling, right? But, uh, but special to you nonetheless, right? The most special are yeah. the fans. Meeting the fans, mm -hmm. um, feeling their love, the, what they, the stories they tell me about what the show meant to them and what my character meant to them is amazing. And I thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for, for loving GLOW and, and loving the girls. It's wonderful. And we were told that there's a documentary coming out this summer. That It's been in production for several years now. It should be a very, very good look at what GLOW was and still is. Very candid. And they've asked me if I want, when they um, show it in Los Angeles at the film festival, if I would come speak oh, very good. before the, yeah, the documentary. So I'm looking forward to that. So what is MTV doing today? What, what have you been doing uh, you know, to stay busy? Because you are a born entertainer. I am. I produce a theater group of pirates. They're, it's historical theater from the golden age of piracy, Brethren of the Coast. Um, I also write science fiction. Um, I write screenplays. Um, and I'm actually working on producing um, an independent publishing company. Huh. So that's big, and that's on the horizon, and that's, that's coming. So really you have nothing going on. You've just been sitting around. Just... You know what? When, I, when I'm not working, I'm working. Right, right. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much, MTV, for taking the time to speak with me, and uh, it's really been a pleasure to, to meet you and, and the rest of the girls here at, at thank CAC. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you.